Hey guys, I am back with week 16 and I am so excited about this layout because it's very colorful and it's the week of the acquaintance party. And the acquaintance party is held every year um, at different places. Ours was held at the Waterfront Hotel and it's just um like it says acquaintance we're just meeting like first second third and fourth year med students are just um, meeting each other getting to know each other supporting each other so it was a really great time so for the title card i use the charmed thickers and i have to warn you if you do have those or you plan to get those they are a bit fragile because when you try peel them peel them off the paper it like bends very easily so you'll see creases in your um, charm thickers so I try to stamp with my stazon directly um, but it didn't come out great so I had to use the jet black instead on white and just cut those out so here on this filler card I added that on trend um, tag from one of the uh, cutouts that they had and then I added that uh, pink um, cutout from the finders keepers and added that um, white and gold foiling from my mind's eye and with pink twine with a little bit of course um, enamel dots and that's pretty much it for um, that card and I really liked how that came out so the collection I use for the cards is Finders Keepers and I finally had the chance to use um, my sticker pack, the Life in Color because the color scheme goes very well with the Finders Keepers and I absolutely love the Simple Stories Life in Color collection. <sighs> I need to slowly build up on that <laughs> collection. I just only have one item from that collection. So I do add um, the gray and yellow chipboard from Paper Studios The Good Life with some arrows and of course I love the black and white um, word sticker from the Life in Color uh, sticker pack. So this is a photo of one of my classmates and uh, I don't have his permission so that's why I covered his face and I just simply stamped Monday because he was falling asleep. and. Um, I don't really think it was on a Monday, but um, I decided just to put Monday because it just symbolizes that, you know, Mondays people don't want to go back to work or go back to school and they end up falling asleep and so forth. So here is the journaling card for, um, or the week journaling card that I write on um, each day and I just layer that with the finders keepers um, papers and added that die cut and just did a lot of journaling on that. I was really happy that everything fit on that very small space. And I added that black and white uh, word sticker that said life documented. And then this card, I decided to leave it alone. Um, that's probably the only card that I don't decorate. I just feel like that card is a bit too busy and I didn't want to put anything on top of that. So here's a photo of Emery and Sed and I believe during lunchtime we decided to eat at Pizza Hut that's really close by to our school and I just like Emery's face in this photo it's so cute. Um, and then uh, Sid is also taking a picture of our food which you'll see after this. And I use the uh, sticky note that I bought a long time ago. And th these are my favorite sticky notes. There's the pink and there's the blue, but the blue is my favorite. And I use it a lot um, in my uh, Project Life layouts. Um, but this is the first time, I think this is the first time I've used it on um, my Philippines series. So I cut out the white around the uh, speech bubble. And I stamped the Yes Please from one of my Studio Calico stamp sets. And I will be adding the 
a pink and I believe yeah okay yellow and pink um, enamel stars that I got from Freckle Fawn and I just added some black alphas on the side that said Pizza Hut and then we'll get into the last photo of the first page which is the pizza itself and um, the Philippines they do a lot of like family meals or like it's a very big meal and um, it's a bit expensive depending on how much you get so ours was um, a pizza and uh, spaghetti and you can tell the spaghetti is enough for one person and we had to share that between three of us but there was pizza so it was okay and um, I just stamped treat, your treat yourself I think and I added a green chipboard and I'll be adding the finders keepers heart enamels but I decided to use the enamels that do not look like hearts as like arrows and I will be adding some hearts on top of the chipboard and right next to the chipboard. Um, I really wish I could have decorated this picture a little bit more but um, that's okay. I still like how it uh, came out. So that's the first layout and the second layout it will be my first time using a 4x4 and this is not a Becky Higgins um, page protector it's um, We Are Memory Keepers and I don't really like um, the We Are Memory Keepers because it's a bit foggy like the sleeves compared to the Becky Higgins which is very clear but um, I still use it anyways uh, I did stamp again with the cell with the Southern Wedding um, which I'm gonna call it a stamp set that I bought on clearance for a dollar twenty nine from Michaels and I have to warn you guys like I don't know why that stamp set was very oily like there was some moisture in it and it was my first time opening that packet um, I don't know if it was the quality of the stamps itself maybe that's why they had to have some oil on it I'm not sure but it was weird it, but it was my first rodeo it was like my second time I've opened up a stamp set that had some kind of moisture oily stuff on it which I thought was I don't understand why so here's a photo where I covered up um, on the left side the far left is um, I had a crush on this guy uh, he's Japanese and I don't want to say his name because um, I don't want, of course I don't have his permission um, and I just oh god I acted like such a high school girl around this guy I could not talk to him for the first time in my life if I was interested in a guy I would tell the guy that I liked him but for the first time in my life I could not tell this guy that I liked him I mean ugh, it was terrible <laughs> I mean I don't know I hope I don't ever do that again I acted such a fool around him but anyway here's a group picture that I did not take um, um, one of my friends who was in the middle um, took it um, but I liked the picture nonetheless and I wanted it in my layout and I added that uh, this paper clip at the top from Freckled Fawn and I do add some enamel dots to that but I wish I could have placed that gray one in a different area so you can really see it because it really blends in into Emery's um, top and then I add a pink one in between the T and the H and I will be adding a word sticker underneath the this that says captured and that is pretty much it for that photo and then the middle card will be another fill card and I kinda like how this came out I, I already had the idea prior of doing it um, I wanted it to say uh, smile for the camera but I realized the gray doesn't show very well so I had to outline that in my black pen and I added a black camera because I didn't want to add a colorful one that would just blend in so and then I added um, those enamel stars and I decided I didn't like it again but um, I just left it there because it was too late already so on this photo, um, I decided not to cover his face because you can't really see his face anyways, it's a bit blurry, but Dom 
um, we had some balloons and it was towards the end of the night and uh, he decided to just jump on it and you know just pop them and I thought it was really funny so I had to take a picture of it and um, the borders that you see with the colorful like lightning um, I did it through a app called Pic Collage and I think I might do that a lot for my project life photos I really like how that came out so I added that a uh, good stuff sticker from the life in color um, sticker pack and the chipboard the green chipboard and I do add some enamel dots and that is pretty much it the only thing I would have changed is that I probably wouldn't have put that zebra washi tape because you can't really see it so I really like I think this is probably my favorite filler card out of um, both layouts <clears throat> so I do use the finders keepers washi tape to add a little bit more to the background I really like that green and gold or mint and gold I think and um, I do add like that brown and white one and I do use that uh, cutout oh how fun and I will be using a lot of the life in color stickers and I will be adding a flower on the top left corner and I have to warn you that um, you'll see later on that the camera will like move like I think I accidentally moved it so it'll cover up as you can see right there <laughs> it covers up most of the card but you you at least see the top part where I um, decorate it so I do add the super and epic stickers from that same life in color pack and I do add the uh, heart uh, chipboard stickers from the Heidi swap and I'm kind of bummed that I wasn't able to use any of the Heidi Swap um, chipboard word stickers, but that's okay. And I do add one enamel heart from the Finders Keepers. And here is the last photo, and it it's actually the bottom part of the previous photo, um, as you can see. But I decided to cut it out because... Um, it wouldn't be able to fit in the 4x4 four four, um, pocket anyway so but I like it um, separate anyways it looks really good so I really like that background paper it's one of my favorite papers in the finders keepers and I add that chipboard that says laugh out loud and I do add those stars from life in color and some word stickers on the bottom right corner I believe one says dare to be amazing and the other one says don't mind if I do and that is pretty much it for this week and I really like how it came out so see you guys week 17 on Monday bye